cars getting all bunched up. The 44, I believe that's Bill Hell out there outside. We call him the ghost. The ghost. Yeah, but let's call him the ghost. He's just the ghost. The 44 is the ghost on the outside of Jeff Duty in the 48. The 7 of Ryan Williams sitting in that second row inside with the 30 of Kerry Sippin right behind him inside row number 3. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at turn number 4. We are about a half a corner away from going green flag racing. On the pole, Jeff Howdy Duty. We're coming around for the green flag. Ladies and gentlemen, we're green flag racing the Chaparral Speedway. That's right, baby. Go over there. The ghost, excuse me. It's a good run, but Ryan right Thornton in the 33. With that 33 with a great run. Less the Undertaker shields on the outside. We're three wide, three wide out there on the back. Shoot. Oh, look at the Spider Man run soon and snaking it in there. Boy, he just threw it in there where I don't know who belonged. I'll tell you what, though, he did a nice clean job of it and got the, got the position. He's going to take away from the lead right now as he is your leader, Kevin Thornton. Jeff, how do you do? He's sitting in second with Ryan Williams in third position. Look at Kerry Sigmund doing a great job staying in the fourth position right behind Brian Williams. Ron Sumnick on the outside. Ron Sumnick wasting no time to make it back. As he's looking to dive on the inside, the seven. Ooh, the seven and the Spider-Man getting together. That's the 69. As, ooh, what a tight pack. A field three by drop pack. That's right. we got great racing. The Undertaker going on the outside of Steve Bossman in the two car. We come out of front four, get a good lead. Daryl Lindbergh in the 16, and Tyler Monroe on the outside. We're three wide through turns one and two. Coming down the back shoot now. Ben Frisman with a great run out there on the outside. He's going to put it three wide as well. That's right. Look at Jeff Works, Flip Weaver, and TJ and Tyler Monroe. And he goes through Ed Griffin. Four positions right there for the two of these cars. The two of Steve Bossman. Oh, there we go. We're together. Ben Frisbee getting turned around by the, the seven car. He actually put, pinched himself up in there. No place to go. That's going to bring out a caution. Man, bottom parts of the treasure rally caution. Caution flag is out here. Chaparral Speedway. The zero of Ben Frisbee getting turned around, I believe. The seven of Brian Williams and the zero of Ben Frisbee getting together. Ben Frisbee getting the worst of it. That's right, he was trying to make the move on to the number 10 of The Undertaker. And here, as we start out, what is it, Drake? Tell me. Flag racing the Chaparral. Ron Sumner placing the middle line both the outside. That's the 69, that's the Spider-Man. Ron Sumner out there on the outside. We're side by side racing, going down the back shoot now. Jeff Duty in the 48, real loose coming out of turn two as the 11 of Daryl Lankford goes underneath him. Jeff works in the 28, right behind Lankford in the 11. He is right behind the 11 of Daryl Lankford. Ron Sumner taking the lead away, as well as quick Rick Baldwin taking that second position away from Kevin Gordon. Kevin Gordon hanging out in front of the two. Steve Bossman hanging tough in the fourth position. Here comes Mark Weaver on the inside of Jeff Hattie Duty over there turn three and four. Jeff Duty fighting an extremely loose race car as he comes as he exits turn two. As he goes into the launch and he gets a little sideways. Your leader right now, Ron Sumner, in the 69 car. Rick Baldwin in the 40. Jeff Woods makes his way around Daryl Langford now, looking to work on the 33 of Kevin Thornton, right behind the two of Steve Bossman. That is the 28 of Jeff Woods. Oh, look at the 38 car. Still real, real loose. He's fighting that car. He is fighting that car. The 19th and Jeremy the plus man gets by him as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the Spider Man needs to be able to Rick Baldwin. And Jeff Wirtz on the outside over there is Steve Boston. That's a fight for third. That's right. Jeff Wirtz is next in turn four. What a great run he's got. And he's going to take the position as he moves up into third. He's going to, He's going after Rick Baldwin in the 40 now. He's on his way around Boston in the two. He is very fast as he falls off the racetrack just a little bit. Some sparks flying from the 28 of Jeff Wirtz. He's right on the tail of the 40 of Rick Baldwin. Look at him on the outside now. Yes, he is. That's right, he does have the run and he's gonna make that pass. He's way up though, look at him, he's up into the marbles. Oh no, he's... Wow, that was crazy. Looked like he come up, turn two, got a little bit loose and it's up into the marbles, up in the pucker brush. Could not get a turn off of there to enter into turn three. Well, he was running very, very fast after the 28 of Jeff Wirtz. What happened is he fell off the racetrack, then he fell off a little bit more. He lost control and, oh, is got to the snake pit from there for the 28 of Jeff Wirtz. Can you do that for me again? <laughs> 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 uh, snake pit for Jeff Wirtz.
Yeah, it just soaked it right off. It did too. He pulled it, he went right up in there. Just a good example of why you don't want to put your right side tires off the racetrack. Just like that, it sucks out the racetrack. Do that again, please. How did they do that? That's how the racetrack, that's what happened with the racetrack. That's right, look at him. He's like, God, you give me my California car duster, I'm back on the track. Well, that's just like Marv Weaver. Marv Weaver, his throttle stuck over there and jumped off the racetrack. And you, you know, if that was Terry Lawrence's car, he'd be out there polishing it right now. <laughs> As we're red flag conditions, red flag conditions here. I want to thank Terry Lawrence for bringing us up a lot of nice stuff from the fast lane indoor indoor go kart racing. That's right, we got a couple free races to give away, some five dollar off coupons, and as well a couple T-shirts. Well, look at him, the 28 of Jeff Wirtz. That doesn't phase him. He might be going off. Well, he might have a flat tire or something. Just gonna go in there and have. That's him. right. The Weaver in the 98, the 88 of Griffith, the 11 of Link for 33 of Thornton, and we're green flag race for Chevrolet Speedway. The 69 of Ron Spider. Our on the outside of Steve Bossman going down the back chute. You know what else is doing a great job moving up through the field? Look at the three wide with Lydell. There we go. Ben Frisbee gets a little sideways. Lydell's now getting turned around. Looks like Jeff Judy has to check up in the 48 car. Wow, we got race cars all over the racetrack now. But we're still green flag racing, still green flag racing the Chaparral Speedway. And there's no yellow yet, no yellow on Chaparral. They're waiting to see uh, Mike. You better throw it now. And Nip Auto Parts and Turn Rally Caution. Nip Auto Parts Turn Rally Caution. Yeah. Yeah, Auto Parts, your Treasure Valley Park Store. You know what they have? They have great products, great prices, and great people just like us, Drake. Just like all of us here at Chaparral. And I'm excited about that, too. 